everybody welcome back to my kitchen today we're going to make strawberry tofu spinach wraps um, okay I put me using extra fern tofu and I pressed it out just like I did with all the sub sandwiches and stuff and instead I cut it in um, thick slices and then cut the slices in half to make like sticks so what we're going to do is put it in our skillet it's on and it's heating up and I've got a tablespoon of some coconut oil and now if they break on you no biggie might have to do this in batches and then for the seasoning I'm using the complete seasoning is that has all kinds of stuff in it that's the seasoning that's going on and we're just going to brown them up both sides get it all the right, way around and then we'll move it from the pan then add our other batch and season and continue now you don't have to put tofu in this you could do chicken chicken goes good you would cut your chicken breast in thin thin like strips and then put that down a skillet and you don't have to use the complete seasoning you could use any kind of seasoning just salt and pepper or Mrs. Dash or garlic powder and onion powder it's just totally up to you So for a few minutes per side is all we're doing. It's going to be so good. Mm-hmm. And I'm going to put it back on the same plate. Because tofu, you know, you don't have to worry about salmonella or anything like that. Hi, Joey. Someone wants to know how you feel now that you went vegetarian. Now, um, remember the doctor told me I could start putting a little bit of meat here and there and see about my digestive. So far, we've tried shrimp and chicken. I done good. But if I feel like I need like that kind of protein, I only have it once during the week. And, and it's um, at one meal. I feel a lot, a lot better. I really do. I'm sleeping better. And then we're just going to turn these over. I went to the doctor's office this week. We did blood work because it's time for it. Um, lost two more pounds. So it's just a slow, slow process. Jimmy, how do you feel eating vegetarian? I do feel way better. <clears throat> they wanted to know what kind of oil you use to cook the tofu. This is coconut oil. Usually you use coconut oil or extra virgin olive oil. You could use any oil you have though. Like avocado oil, vegetable oil, um
I'm even going to try to even get the sides around. Okay. Yeah. <coughs> Sir's lost over 70 pounds. And people, I've lost over 60 pounds. People said they can't see it, but I can tell it because I'm down. I'm down three sizes from the clothing they used to wear, so I can tell. We have them rude people that come on and say, well, she's fatter out than she ever has been, so I don't know why she keeps saying that she's lost weight. You're always going to have bullies and trolls in your life. Seems like you never get away from any of them. Even in the workplace, you know. Sometimes you might have a boss you don't like. That treats you awful. Yeah. Okay. I'll take some of these little sticks off now. Tofu has kind of like a toasty, nutty taste. Um, you know, it's made out of soy beans, so, but it can take on any flavor you season it with it. So, like, if you want to marinate it, I mean, a lot of people do. I mean, like I said, you could do chicken if tofu ain't your thing, or... You could even poke in turkey, uh, cook up some turkey slices or turkey lunch meat. You, you could do it to your liking. And I don't think I'm going to add any more oil to the pan because I think there's still enough. So I'm going to add some of my other little sticks. Sprinkle them with a little complete seasoning. They want to know what your favorite dessert is. Oh, if you follow me on my regular Facebook, I found a new treat that I absolutely like. Now, you've seen that I got a big thing, a huge uh, two flats of strawberries to make strawberry freezer jam. Um, that's coming. That video's coming. Probably tomorrow on it. Um, but... One of my best friends that comes up sometimes um, and has coffee or tea with me in the mornings and helps me with stuff. She told me a new treat that you cut up strawberries, put you taste the strawberry first to see what kind of sweetness you need. If it's you know bright for you, then don't add any sugar to your bowl. Well, I had a big bowl of strawberries. And I put, you know, I peel my strawberries because of diverticulitis issues to get all the seeds off. I just peel them with a paring knife, just like you do a tater. Well, they were sliced in my bowl, and that's what I was going to have for breakfast. She just sprinkled over a little bit of Splenda, not very much because the strawberries were, were already real sweet once this time. Not even a, not even a half tablespoon less than that. And then put over some canned cream, which is evaporated milk. Maybe a fourth of a cup. Maybe three tablespoons. Two to three tablespoons to a fourth of a cup. Um, and you let it sit and the strawberries put out their juices and it mixes with the cream. It is so yummy. So that's one of my favorite little treats now.
there's a lady who says she and her daughter love you, and that her daughter even named her Mixer Sarah. Aww. Um, the reason I'm cooking dinner early tonight is I got a Tupperware party tonight at 7. Over on my Tupperware Facebook page, I know I have live Tupperware parties on there and I do recipe demonstrations. So tonight I'm going to do fruit salsa over there. Fruit salsa and we can dip stuff in it. <clears throat> How long ago were you diagnosed with diverticulitis? Oh, it's been years. Was it maybe eight now? Seven or eight? It's been quite a while. So now I have to watch everything. Okay. Let me put my tofu back there. And I'm going to get me a plate. And we're going to make a wrap. The wraps I chose to use the um, spinach tortillas. You could use regular or any low carb tortillas if you're doing a low carb, whatever. Flatbreads. You know, them real thin flatbread. So we got that down. That's what we're going to wrap in. Now, the dressing I chose for mine, you could use any kind. A dressing. You could do mayo mixed with something and thin it out and put it over the top. Mustard. Uh, um, whatever you want. We ch we're going to chose to do balsamic vinaigrette. I love balsamic on like a strawberry spinach salad so I thought that would be good for the wrap. So, we're going to put some spinach leaves down. Now you could do lettuce, arugula, Whatever you would like. We love spinach, though, don't mm -hmm. we? Mm-hmm. It's my fave. And then we're going to put some sticks of the tofu. I think I'm going to put three sticks in each wrap. Then I love cheese. I'm a mouse cheese person. <coughs> There's also a lot of vegan and vegetarian cheeses out there. Anyway, just put your little cheese. I'm doing Colby Jack, Monterey Jack. That's what we had in the fridge, so that's what we're using. We're going to put, um, maybe I should pull this closer to the edge. We're going to put some tomato. Some cucumbers and let me slice it a little bit better. I'm slicing them down like that. Cucumber and let's put some avocado on there. I love avocados. You can put any there. You could put bell peppers, roasted bell peppers, anything that you like. This avocado is not ripe ripe. So I'm just peeling off the skin. Then I'm going to slice in some slices. I'm 45. How old are you, Sarah? I'm going to 
we'll be hitting the big 4 0 in July. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Yep. Thank you, Sally. I'm going to put some avocado slices. <clears throat> and this is going to be Jamie's. So he gets regular strawberries. I peel mine. So we're going to put some strawberry slices. And then we're going to come with a little bit of our vinegar out. I must drop the whole bottle. I don't know if I'm going to get this to be able to get this to fold. If your stuff comes back out, squish it back in. I should have folded that. Should have folded this in up too. See if I can get it to go in. I think I stuffed it too much. But y'all get the vibe. Let me get me a uh, knife. Cut this. These are monster wraps. Monster wraps. <laughs> monster wraps. But then that's what you have. Your strawberry spinach tofu wrap. They look really yummy. They look so super good. Yep. So that's Jamie's. Let me move out of the way and I gotta make me one. And I'll actually try mine. One plate. Get me a tortilla. What are you all having for dinner tonight? I only put two of these. Hi, Catherine. Nobody's going to tell me what they had or want to be having. Lasagna rolls, pork loin, rump roast, meatloaf. I need some. Cucumber. You could put onion. I forgot to get onion. Potato Wait, soup. I have onion now. I forgot to add it to Jamie's. Turkey burgers and coleslaw. <clears throat> we have red onion. So you can add onion to it. So I have some red onion here. Taco salad, salmon, and a big old salad. Sounds good. Yes, it does sound great. Give me some avocado. They want to know if we've tried the Beyond Burgers. No. I've got to order some. And I can't get them around in my store, so I'd have to order on that fakemeats.com or the vegan essentials. Somewhere I'll find them. So a little red dressing. Make sure I'm not all the strawberries. I'm forgetting my strawberries. Now, see how I peeled mine? I took all the, the little seeds off. Because of the issue I have with them. I love them, but they don't love me. I didn't much stuff mine as much as Jamie. See if I can fold it up like a, like a burrito wrap. Yep, that mine's a little bit better than poor Jamie's.
very tasty. It's like a big old spinach salad in a wrap. Really good. I knew it was going to be good. You can put any veggies you want. Shredded carrots. We went and said bell pepper. A roasted bell pepper. Mushrooms. The versions are endless. But that's what we're having tonight in the Potter House. Um, tofu, what did I say? To strawberry tofu spinach wraps. Mm -hmm. We'll probably have carrots and celery and veggie dip on the side. See y'all at the next live. Bye bye, everybody. And if you want to visit the Tupperware party tonight, just follow the links in the description. Mm hmm. And join the group. I'll add you in. Even if Tupperware ain't your thing, I also have my Facebook paparazzi page too. Down in the description, if that's still not your thing. A lot of people join just to chat in the comments with me during the lives and parties. And visit with her. Thanks for coming by, everybody. Bye, everybody.